Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today is March 1st, 2019, and today is Friday morning. So we would expect it to be NFP today because it's the first Friday of the new month. However, because the corresponding Wednesday, the previous Wednesday of this week was not also in March, then the NFP is deferred to the second week of the month. So this month, it's going to be next week. So just be aware of that. Now, looking at the major economic events of the day, Fed Chairman Powell will be speaking. That's uh, in Increasing to his uh, previous speeches to Congress uh, this past week, I don't think that there'll be any surprises there. And looking at uh, 3.30 South African time, monthly GDP numbers coming out of Canada, an important number, we'll take a look at that. And lastly, at 5 p.m. South Africa time, ISM manufacturing PMI numbers coming out. Now, we are looking for some positive news. The markets did rally up to 26,000, but you know at this stage we're kind of like where are we going next okay looking at the forex symbols usd dollar gets stronger versus all the major pairs now it's on the upper end of schemes of things and we'll take a look at that in just a moment dow jones pushes above twenty six thousand yesterday jc breaks higher but falters and is back on support we'll take a look at that in just a moment commodities oil back on the top of the range of 57 dollars a barrel and gold starts trickling down to 1313 ish level. We'll take a look at that. And lastly, looking at stocks, they're showing weakness, okay? But they're not showing any sort of great volume, which means that they're pretty much accounted for. But let's take a look at what we can expect from today's trading. So we're taking a look here at the GBP USD on a four hour chart, as you can see. And this was what we expected yesterday. It faltered at this 133. We are all looking for this 132 to be a support level, okay? Now, this is a very important level as we're we're looking at it on a daily chart you could see that we hit this resistance several times okay going back even a year ago okay several times over the year we tried to rally above this number this is the first time we've actually broke above it okay since last summer so with that said okay I'm really looking for this to hold this line at 132 for a possible upwards momentum okay however if we do not get that okay this can still go back to the 130 68-ish level i'm not sure that we're going back to 125 as this brexit vote still is unfolding the brexit drama as i like to call it okay so with that said okay there is still uncertainty in the gbp so just be aware of it and just keep a defensive kind of trading attitude towards trading the gbp okay there are opportunities in it but just be careful on the downside make sure to put in stop losses as you're trading now jumping to the aussie dollar as you can see it's been a little bit of a seesaw looking at the aussie dollar right there okay we're looking at a four hour chart and as you can see we've been trading pretty much between the 71 90 ish level and 70 92 ish level okay if anything has ever told us anything about range bound trading this is an opportunity to get into the long side right here okay i wouldn't get too aggressive about it but i would get you know with possibly building a position going into next week's trading as the nfb actually unfolds now jumping into the commodities gold has just been trickling trickling down excuse me 1312 okay not big deal okay we saw a high of 1350 remember we've gone over a thousand a hundred points excuse me since it's low of 1212 back in november okay so this is a beautiful rally a beautiful retracement and we're at support here at 1312 next real support is 12 1300 ish 1293 ish okay that's really the next support okay so i do expect this to hold this level okay however if we do uh break it we could go back down to the 1304 ish level again not the end of the day we've gone over a 150 points over the past two months three months okay so for it to retrace about 50 points is normal okay it's it's within normality within character now looking at oil okay this is really something to take a look at now it's telling us a story here okay we held this previous resistance subsequent support right there okay as we're looking at it it's rallying to the top of that range which means that if it continues at this momentum we may see it break out higher okay but I do need to see momentum here. I do need to see it follow through. I wouldn't chase it here. I would actually look to actually short it with the anticipation it's gonna go down. However, as we're going into the end of the week, I would put a stop right about right above it, okay, in case it does correct itself and does change character in order to become a little bit stronger. Altogether, okay, altogether looking at a daily chart, it does look like it's making 
a upwards momentum movement okay so if it does break above this 58 you know just be aware of that so you know we're really at a very sensitive point for oil right now as it's kind of making a comeback from our lows of $41 a barrel okay so really a tremendous area for us to correct itself over the past you know year and a half that we've been trading this uh, from its highs of $76 $77 a barrel okay so a lot to be said there now looking at the JSC this is what I was talking about and we're looking at a four-hour chart now this is telling you a beautiful story okay which means that it got stronger and we finally broke above this 49500 ish level if you like to call it and then we hit this <clears throat> resistance of 50000 beautiful number to really hit resistance and retrace okay now we've been pretty much trading between this 49500 ish level and we're smack in the middle of that at 49800 ish okay but i'd like to see some follow through i'd like it to actually break above the resistance level of 50,000. Now, the reason I say this is that if you look at last year's chart, we were trading between the 55,000, 54,000 ish area and low of 50,000. So, this is actually a decent place for this to actually break out. We've had this consolidation and it looks like the market is expanding in South Africa. The RAND is relatively strong, weak for what the situation is, the environment right now is. So, I do expect this to actually break through like to see that follow through now looking at the Dow Jones we're pretty much looking at a one hour chart okay we had a nice rally uh, on the 15th which is about two weeks ago okay but since then we've been trading within this very tight area of about 300 points now with that said okay um, it's not a big deal but it's something to consider okay this past week we really have been in a very tight range okay so with that said as we go into the weekend nfp report next week it might just look for clues in the nfp to give us some direction as the market continues into um, the spring month okay now march is the month that we expire in terms of most of the majors okay so we do have expiration coming up this month so the march contract will be expiring and the june contract will be reopening so just be aware of it if you're trading the Dow Jones you may need to close some of those positions out before the expiration date so be aware of it so um, looking into today's trading I don't expect anything major okay with the ISM manufacturing number that's coming out however if we do break above this 26039 we could definitely go up to 26 1100 ish level okay so that's an important area to go now looking at Apple you know, the stocks are pretty weak. You know, we closed the gap, we rallied right back, and then we're playing a little bit of a seesaw, and we're making this new range-bound trading for Apple, 74 on the high side, 72 on the, 172 on the low side, within range, okay? Um, markets have expanded. We've rallied back. Uh, we sold off sharply over the past year. You know, a lot been happening. So I do expect us to be in a range-bound trading until there's some sort of impetus, some sort of reason for us to go higher or to even go lower, okay? But right now, looking at the majors, we're pretty much sideways trading, okay? Not big activity in the markets, looking at Facebook, looking at Amazon, and looking at Tesla, we're sideways trading. So, you know, nothing to really write home about the stocks right now, nothing to really, you know, park our attention. But you know, as the markets, you know, move into the next quarter, I do expect some volatility as there will be some sort of guidance, either higher or lower again. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a beautiful weekend. Thank you.